weird bubble. Welcome back to the bubble, ladies and gentlemen, and our Breland campaign on Divide and Conquer version 5. First of all, a little bit of an, an not really an announcement, but some information. Uh, I've been having real problems with my internet connection for a couple, for a week or so now, meaning that uploading uh, a video, one video takes approximately two days to upload. I am in contact with the network company, so we're working on having it fixed, but that's why my uploading uh, schedule hasn't really worked out as it should. But I'm trying to um, have videos at least every every other day for you guys. So that's information about that. Uh, in this episode, hopefully, first of all, I will move my sense. merchants. I got some good tips on where I can find um, more resources than uh, in these regions where is the other one anyway like up here at thorin's halls for example i think close to the mountains there should be um all of these mines really i think should give really good um income and also i think one place here close to um hobbiton i guess 53 Oh, what? Hobbit Farmstead 209 or 309. I'm moving you there right away. You can move to that one. And then let's see. We should have. Thank you, Lord Oblivion, for that. Let's see where I have my other merchant. I think I should have two. Yes. And you are an even better merchant. So you should move. How many of these? Oh, my God. I've been... Absolute, doing absolutely horrendous uh, choices with my merchants. Oh my god, and I thought 50 was like, oh my god, that's so much money. What am I supposed to do with all this money? But come on, look at this. 618, 618. You still make a lot of money, but when you get to a higher level, you'll be getting even more of that. So that's what they mean about the breadbasket thing. If I select you now, I want you 871. Oh my god, I've been so neglecting these guys. 1.3k? And you move up to that one maybe? I think that should give more resources. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> damn. I need to learn a lot about uh, placing my trade, uh, my merchants. Right, and also... What I'm going to do in this episode, uh, I will move this army out of the fort, and you will move on Lond Angren, and uh, I think also Olkva, to be honest, and I think I would like to start giving these regions uh, to Gondor, to be honest. Uh, it's a large town, and but I also need to connect them before I can really start... Um, before I can really start helping them out. And you have no done it doing a dying culture here either, so you won't be getting any garrisons. But I need to start helping Gondor right now, because as you can Lord. see, Isengard has basically taken the entire western part of uh, Gondor. Oh, This is not good. Not good at all. And Rohan, I don't even yes. know where those guys are right now. But I can try to go for this Tomorrow's fort and maybe talk to them there. I and start giving them some tomorrow. regions. Like if I take Dunyard, I will give them that, for example. Maybe even Byrig. I don't know. But we have one army on its way to Byrig, which is great. Dunladak has a massive garrison that I would like to take out to kill Kadok. And then um, that should be it for Dunland right here, actually. So then you can rather go down to Dunyard. Heorot has a massive garrison of really good units uh clan spearmen and dunlending raiders maybe not so much but they have three generals and a whole bunch of warband sentries warband blades warband host yeah and also they have an army there on the way to baradvin but i think baradvin should be strong enough to withhold quite a few sieges to be honest right so you will be marching there hopefully and we could yes, march out and kill that general right away. Who is messing with my movement points? My lord. You are messing with my movement points. Your orders, my lord. So if we do it like this, if we take you out Dunlark, we lose a lot of money. 
a lot of money and a lot of uh, public order. Still, you're happy enough for us to just kill yes, these guys and then go back into Dunladak. So let's do that real quick. Glory, honor, quick save victory. and... Oh, damn, they have a lot of cavalry, but we have Dunedain Steelbowmen and Gatekeepers. All of them can play stakes. So this could be a hoot if we manage to lure their cavalry into attacking us. So what I will do is place pikes at the absolute front lines, and then around that I will place the stakes. So the cavalry will have to just die on something. And we get clear weather, thank you. Okay. So if we place them, here we have a hill. Technically have that over here as well. But I want the better visibility. So, is anyone here? Okay. First of all, all the spears. Oh, we do not have a lot of spears. At all. Okay. So you will be making one front line. And you will be making one as well. Actually, I want... Both of you in shield wall formation as well. Something like this. Something like this. And you something like that. And then what we're going to do is one unit of gatekeepers there. And stakes. Nope. There was a limit on how wide you could put those bad boys. There we go. And you will be standing and putting stakes on the other side. There we go. Stakes. Cavalry out on this side. And also... One unit of cavalry on the other side. We just really need to make sure that we don't run them into the stakes. And then both of you. Right there. Stakes. And you on the other side. And stakes. Stakes. Good. And that's fine. You will be behind the front lines. And we'll run back all the um, all the archers to those positions except for the gatekeepers. And then we'll need some badass infantry on both of the sides. To kind of fill in those gaps. And you will be on this side. You have gatekeepers as well, but you don't have the ability to put down stakes because you're the general's bodyguard. Okay, I think this should be it. Now, let's see if we can get them to attack us. All of you. And you as well. Get up here, ready to shoot. And I would like... And it actually looks like they are coming towards us. Then right there. And the cavalry be behind here. Just so you're ready to ride out on the flanks. But it looks like we will not be uh, using these stakes that much. So maybe I'd rather keep you like this. There. Run. And then, our Speary boys, you might just, I'd rather keep you on the other side, to be honest. Let's just walk you over real quick. And we also have you to fill up these flanks. Ride you out to the side, and now you can start firing at will. I think the crossbows should be able to deal a lot of damage. Dunling Raiders are coming up. I really hope for the cavalry to just absolutely super die against these stakes. You are quick to get over, that's good. And looks like our angle is absolutely amazing as well. And then I want my Speary boys to be on uh, defensive mode. 
Heralds of the Twofold King, they also have heavy cavalry, but they can also throw stuff, as I recall. But I think we should be able to get a lot of good shots off on them, and if they're, we're really lucky, they will run straight into the stakes and just super die that way. Are you charging and the killing? Okay, you're aiming for the Tharbad Royal Guard. And the regular gate keepers, okay. But we are killing quite a few of them, that's good. And yeah, you should be doing just fine. You take all the time in the world to get over here though. And these stakes are mostly just completely unnecessary, it seems. And they have a lot of just light cavalry, which seem to rather want to sh charge into the shield walls. Where is the general, I wonder? He should be the Brennan Guard, right? All of you shoot at the Brennan Guard. And you will be dying in a spear wall. Should die in a spear wall at least. In a phalanx. For the seven stars. Don't really know why you're not dying though. You shoot at them. You are attacking them. That's actually okay. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Not optimal. Let's see if we can kind of get them to run into the stake somehow. Well, they missed the charge, that's for that's for sure. But I think, yeah, that's going to hurt us quite a bit. At least you are doing a lot of good firing. You need to get over to this side to help. You attack them now, and cavalry on this side. I don't really want you to attack any of the cavalry, to be honest. And you might actually need to run over and assist over here. Looks like we managed to actually fight you off. You help against them now, and do you get caught on those stakes? Actually, some of you did. Attack them, you attack them, and you attack them as well. Just duke it out. And those are our cavalry units, so that's okay. So far, we've lost 6%, killed 74. I can live with that. However, I would like for their general to die as well, to be honest. Don't even see him right now. Bro, you're so deep, I can't even see you anymore. You can start shooting at them at least instead then. You attack them, you attack them. Okay, over here somewhere we should have the general. Where are you? Because you're not a cavalry unit. Okay, you broke, that's good. The enemy general flees like the cowardly. Please, you say? Press hold how our cowardly Continue and where are you? Where is the general? He should be over here somewhere. There he is. He's the only one left, I think. And we've killed 93% so far. There we go. Haddock is gone. Is there... Okay, you can run after them as well. So far, this is good result though. 7% lost. I can live with that. This is a clear victory. 95 units lost. That's not that bad. And I think most of that is actually some cavalry units. Maybe some of my infantry. We heal 2%. Uh, gatekeepers, we heal 2 That's not really necessary. But we lost most. Tharbad Royal Guards. And we didn't heal that much of them. That's too bad. They are not really that, e that easy to come by. Um, but they did their job. They got some kills. But they lost more than they killed though.
Anyway, battle for the Dunlin Lowlands is won. Amazing, amazing. So now, theoretically, we should be able to move this army towards... Um, maybe we'll, we will move them back. And I'll see if I can find another general to lead this army. Um, yeah, execute. Let's see, can we get them back? No. Can I get any one of you back? Doesn't really look like this matters that much now, does it? All of you have the same. Okay, that didn't help at all. Okay. Let's yes, leave you there. You will be marching in. Yes, my lord. You are standing at Hirot. I have my lord. My lord. a lot of spies and a lot of good places. Look at the devastation over here. Let's see if I want to I make sure Londaire is safe in case you attack me there. So I will end the turn now. I think that should be good. And we'll see what the next one has, has in store. I might just disband you. I can't train you here anyway. Or I can move you over to somewhere where you can be retrained. As you wish. That we can do. March to exhaustion. Good. Now, let's end the turn. See what happens in the next one. Moving some spies all over the place. I'm thinking that some of my forces sieging Angmar might be under attack soon. And I do want to siege them for quite a while, actually. Rather siege them and try to make sure that I siege all of their different locations. But the thing is, Angmar seem to have some really decent stacks all over the place. Okay, where did that one go? Oh, you can't see me aiming, uh, pointing at the screen. Where did this one go? I'm curious about that. That. And I... Okay, is this you? That could very well be you. So then I could move you down to Barchaleg as well. Do I have any spies anywhere in the vicinity? You are moving to Barchaleg. And you are retraining whatever you can retrain. That's them. So you should be able to move. You can't quite reach this fort. That's too bad. I would like for you to be free upkeep. But we can start, I guess. As you wish. We'll make orders. And you can't get any better better armor, so let's move you to Karn Doom. Yes. You're not free upkeep there anyway. You keep orders. sieging, you join up. You we don't have a general here, and I don't, don't... Yeah, we do have a general in this one. We have Otto. So that is great. We are still sieging, but I would like to know what happened to this spy. There we go. Approaching so, doesn't look like I have any problems over there quite yet. Now, if I take yes, you out to Barch Leg, they will live. They won't be happy about it, but they will live. Your will, my lord. So what if I take Order. the entire will, garrison out and lower the tax rate? Then you should be happy enough. Orders, and let's move some sheriffs back. Yes. That will be make them happy yes, enough. You have, you have no retinues. Okay. You do have some good traits, though. But I can't give them over to anyone anyway. You do have marks of war. That's good. So now, let's move you towards Nokwa Raklaw. First of all, we can put you With there. This tower will keep vigil orders. And Your maybe we'll Lord. take some troops out of here. You can't hide there, can you? Making camp here. Nope, you cannot. Your will, my Lord. Okay, at least stuff is going on in Angmar. Spend some money. We are the most advanced faction and Tirn Gerthaid can be upgraded. So I will be doing that after I have the Mason's Guildhouse um, finished there. Good stuff. And Qs are <coughs> Sorry, damn, I lost my voice. Qs are stalled. That happens. Dwarven friend on Ed. That's awesome, because Abuzra Doom gives quite a good mining income. Okay, and the next one, construction report, under towers, you got a trading post. Don't really afford, we can't really afford a lot more. And since you have only a town, we won't be able to get any good buildings out of you yet. So, no need for 
recruiting, although I would like to train some more stuff. You're getting old, Elf. Getting old, but won't train anything over here right now. It's so far away. You, though, need to go to Bree for retraining. Where you are already on your way. And the core village shard, you got the great hall. We should get the lord's hall here after that. That will be fun. Get us some better troops. And Bregos, we got the market. Could get a lot of good buildings here. But first, we need the Mason's Guild House. So queue that up whenever we can afford it. Recruitment. Michel Delving, I already moved you. Tharbad. When can we get... We can already get new lads. Good. Not another merchant yet, though. Would that work out if we get a whole bunch of those smoky houses things? I wonder. Actually, can't retrain anything. Okay. Angsul. Right. Angsul, you are retraining. I've already done my actions there. Baradvin. Oh, yes. I keep training here, actually. We have room for two more, but those are not going to be here yet for a turn or so. But I could go out and kill Co Conan? Conan? Okay, 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 okay. Could go out and kill him. But I do want that army to attack me, though. I'm thinking that I won't get you quite yet. Just in case I'm getting attacked here. I'd rather have the garrison help out with that. Because otherwise I need to move someone away and blah, 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 blah. Like I've done with these lads. Which all can hide in the forest. So I'm thinking, is there another good piece of forest where I could move you? Or move you into the fort, maybe? Because, but then you'll just get killed. So let's put you there for now. Let's, you can just stay there. Okay. Right, and then a whole bunch of retrained troops. Angsul, Bree... We are starting to get another army here, but taking them out would cost a lot. Look at how many free upkeep units we have here. That's just great. Just great. And we could also train some more troops here, so I'm thinking that I should. There we go. Now we're broke again. Just like it should be. Now. And you. All of you. Yes, my lord. My lord. Should start moving out. Towards Lond Angren. We shall continue tomorrow. And you should we just I'm yeah, I'm actually absolutely going to get attacked here soon. As you wish. Really? You can walk there, but not there, okay. Yes. As you wish. Bregost. Right, we're just building our stuff there. So everyone here has moved. I will not be taking any garrison out of here, just in case I'm attacked. It would be fun to move you into a better place, like, try to sneak you down towards Alkford. Can you hide there? We'll make camp oh, you cannot hide there at all. It's forest. How come you can't hide there? Okay, so you might die. That's okay. That's a risk. That's a... Chance we have to be willing to... A sacrifice we have to be willing to make. However, I would like to see you can hide anywhere. You can't hide. Okay, that's why the garrison couldn't hide. That's why these lads couldn't hide, because of you, I guess. But if I take some of you out... Uh, adapted hiding in woods. And you can hide in woods. So we could actually take a couple of these units out. Everyone that can hide in a wood, in woods. Which are not that many, unfortunately. Put a couple of them and then move them towards all no that would be that would be stupid my lord eventually maybe but not quite now not quite yet okay and for the next turn oh my god we are dropping in profits you are moving that's good yes my lord i want you to lay siege to buy rig and it's open look at that it's opened and we have a catapult, but they do have a pretty sizable garrison. So I would actually like to seat yes. you for a little while longer. Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. And then rather make sure that. Um, yes, my lord. And rather make sure that we really get it, you know? 
And I would like for you to move on to Dunyard. But Hirot, no, you have to stay here for a little while. And then when we, once we've taken Byrig, we can take that entire army out, basically. Your orders. As you and um, we can use this region for a lot of free upkeep as well. But then I'll take that army, reinforce it from Dunlarak, and then they'll move to Dunyard. Okay, that's going to be a lot of fun. Great stuff, great stuff. Can I retrain anything here? No, I've already done all the moves that I wanted to make, haven't I? Because you're still sieging here. Yeah, they will hold out for nine turns. Anything that I want to move over here? No. Your will, my lord. So I think approaching quietly. We can end another turn. Right, the diplomats. I forgot to move. Oh, I forgot to move quite a lot. Sorry about that. I would like to move uh, spies down to Gondor as well, because it looks like they've lost so much. Now, it's going to be interesting to see what Dunland and Angmar does. Dunland didn't do anything. Ew, kill. Entering woods and preparing to end. Orders. You, Longbottom, for retraining. So I didn't really lose out on a lot of things. Okay. Still, no one's attacking around here. What's your up will, with my that? My lord. Now you're hiding. Okay. Your will, and that army is moving down to Olkfud. I see. I see. As you wish, my lord. Yes. Can you hide there? Yes, well you can. Concealed. Everyone's hiding. Ha ha ha. My lord. And you will attacking Lond Angren. Engage. It's a city. We shall prevail. So. I will want to take that one in one turn, and it looks like Isengard holds this region. So I will take this, Londangren, and then I'll move the army to Karas uh, right away. So far we're not at war with Isengard. Dol Guldur is the most advanced faction now, okay. Qs are still stalled. Construction complete. Dunedain armor in Tharbad. Awesome. Let's start retraining some stuff. Give them better armor. And recruitment. Re a lot of retrained lads. Londaire retrained a lot of things. And Bree right. Will, Move both of you in here. Then everyone is free upkeep. My lord. You go in and there. And then... Let's move will, you down, you and you will be retrained whenever, whenever we can afford it. Okay, increasing the profits a little bit, but oof. Okay, I can dower. It will be a yes, my lord. I think yes. I respect you, my. Enemy. Doesn't look like you have the you have the best army. We have. Um, I need more cavalry to deal with that. My lord. You get in there. We have no cavalry units there. Okay, what I'm gonna do... Move both of you back to Barchaleg. And then Yonju join you up there. And we actually could move some of them. We do not have a lot of infantry. Not at all, actually. We can move you back into Barchaleg and move you down. So just like that, I think we have a bit of a better troop, a uh, bit of a better army. Still, uh, we can't reach Agendaur just yet, though. You, eight turns, eight turns. And we will need to exterminate the, uh, the settlement. And this is a stronghold, so I will just auto-resolve it, but I don't want to fight their doom stack unless unless I absolutely have to. Okay. Moves. Your orders, my Um by rig. To battle. If I were to attack just now, you would get three units of really upgraded defenders, and you do have a crazy garrison there as well, so I will keep sieging, even though I don't really like it. Don Ladak. I need a general for you, but sometimes you just gotta go without one. Orders, my lord. Marching to war. Victory and hope that you land, kind of make one. <laughs> to war, then. You will march over there, and all of you 
Should start moving towards Dunladak. Just move you down south. After that, maybe you can attack Dunyard. I don't know what's going to uh, ride out and attack this army. Would be would really suck to lose it. Your will, my lord. And yes, let's my lord. take uh, Lond Angren. As you come on. Oh, I can auto resolve this one. Lost twenty two units. That's manageable. Glory. Just Honor. occupy the settlement Victory. because the culture is good enough. My lord. Our and so can we move conquer. out? Just le leaving you. Yes. Yes, looks like that's the case. Oh no, I didn't want to didn't mean to leave the general there. Your orders, my lord. There we go. And then start moving you towards uh Karas. We, we can afford one little tower this there. Tower and just hope that you land. won't be able to go down to Londangren right away. If you do, this army will be marching out. Yes, my lord. You can be a Okay, you're not really a fighting general, are you? Hmm. You are though. So that's what we're going to do. All of you. Your orders, my lord. Orders. Let's take you out on the field. You can attack them. Then we'll get rid of that. Defeating you. I don't really know how this army would fare in the battlefield against that. And you can't reach. So what I'm going to do, move you into Londaire. Retrain what we can retrain. That's going to take a couple of turns, which we don't really have. Do we have anything that we can move? Not really. At your service. Oh, you we're going to make so At much more service. money from these mines. On my way. I so great. So morning, great. You will keep you will keep moving to long bottom. Your will, my lord. You will go to be to be yes. retrained. We can go no further today. Righto, righto. Don't really have anything over here that we want to move, do we? You As go you in wish. there. Retrain you. Your you will, start lord. moving towards my lord. By your command. This little fort right here. Yes, my lord. Okay. And then we'll see what happens in the next turn. Interesting. Hope everyone's doing all right, by the way. In Sweden, it's uh, it's been a very warm day. It's 23 degrees Celsius. And the sun is shining. So that means it's a beautiful day to sit inside We're by the computer. Attacked. Okay. Your forces ambush an army of Dunland. I don't really think it's worth trying to pull this off, to be honest. And if I were to just pull back, we would most likely be attacked again. But let's try a short withdrawal. That was the shortest withdrawal I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay, let's just auto-resolve this one. Clear defeat. Fine. So that's going to be a bit cheaper for us. Baradvin is no longer under siege, but you can know, you can count on uh, them having armies all the way down here. All around. Your orders, you are a governor, actually. But you also have some good uh, command retinues. Breastplate, etc. So, we could yes, take my lord. all of you out of here. Except for like two units of crossbows, maybe. As you come on, an honor and then we can kill Erkeard. You attack. attack one of my dudes, and I'm going to attack one of yours. And the thing is, we won't really have the movement points to move them away, to move them to any other place afterwards. So we have one settlement that's really um, vulnerable. That looks good. And now, don't really need to worry too much about how we're placing all of our troops. Because they just have one uh, general's uh, bodyguard. There we go. 
Now I want all of you to start shooting at the Brennan Guard whenever you can reach them. They are actually dumb enough to come towards me. So, slow everything down just a smidge. And keep the shock infantry close. And pikes might also be a good idea, actually. And ride the cavalry out to the sides just to try and uh, get their attention. Fortunately, most of my units are uh, good against armor. At least most of my archers, but I don't think the watchmen are good against armor. No. However, you are, my beautiful gatekeepers. They have shields and they have pretty good armor, the Brennan Guard. But fortunately, they're just walking so far. And now all of my ranged units can shoot at them, which are just four groups. But still, we are already starting to kill them. That's awesome. And I think with my farmhand pikemen, I hope that uh, you should be able to form a pretty good first line against them. Down to 60. Okay, we're killing about 10 for each uh, volley. That's really good. Where is my cavalry over on this side? There you are. Ride you in. And you ride you over to this side. And what if we run you over to this side and the farmhand pikemen will deal with them on this one? The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Okay, you're act you're actually following my watch. And you both of you get into line over here. You can just keep running around, really. It's looking quite good. Only one left, right? So now what do we have here? The Greenway Spearmen. And they should only have the general left. Hopefully we haven't uh, lost too many units to friendly fire. Okay, we actually caught some in friendly fire. Two farm and pikemen. And we lost one Greenway Spearman, but we healed one troop unit. Okay, at least that's a general dead. That's a general dead. And now we have uh, freed up another army to move towards some place. Maybe they siege to something, Hirot or something like that. If that even was the name of the settlement. I think as long as we have a stronger or a more full... Um, Banner than they do, they won't be marching out. Let's move you back to Baladvin, actually. And you could actually attack this general. Quick save, and that's a faction leader as well, so they will be really, it will be really difficult to kill. But we'll give it a shot if we kill them hopefully i will be getting another general out of this a man of the hour if you will and start the deployment and now it would be nice if they if they ride out uh, if they ride out to meet us you on that side and let's move back everyone who doesn't have stakes oh damn we don't have the we don't have the general right now or the general we don't have a general which means that our morale will be stinky okay you lads 
There we go. Can you stakes stakes and stakes? Then on the other side, we'll have stakes and one more group of stakes. Good. We just need to make sure that our cavalry don't ride into those stakes. Right. You will be behind everything so you don't die. You on this side. You on that side. Then we keep you lads over here. I think this should be good enough. Now, all of you and you can stand right here and make sure that you get some really good shots off. Cell sword back here and you will make sure that you hold you can form shield wall and then stand there. You can stand there. Cavalry, maybe just right behind here. I want to try to get their cavalry into uh, into the pikes or stakes. And looks like they're already starting to shoot. That's good. Do we have anything that has like really good armor that we want for them to aim at? Not really, they don't have any spears either. So for now, let's just not use you. Where is their faction leader? Is this their faction leader? Might actually be the case. All you shoot at them. Where? Are, what are you doing right now? Okay. That's actually good, because I forgot to put you in guard mode. Good, everyone's doing their thing. Let's see, can we get you to kind of stifle their charge, I wonder. You get over there instead. You run in and help as well. Need you to run back. There we go, now turn and post. And start shooting. Okay. Attack. And all of you. And start shooting at them now, maybe? I would really love to know where their captain is. That That is their captain. Okay, let's just keep aiming them. You start attacking them. And where do I want you? Okay, stop shooting for now. You just kill your own units. We've lost 6%, killed 37. That's good. Now, you march out to the side and attack. You can start running out to one side and you can run out to the other. I mean, our units are holding the lines quite well. This side is kind of starting to hurt though, but I think the Blade Masters will take care of that. All of you. There we go. General is dead. Yes, indeed. Now, they are starting to break. Oh, damn, that was not good for us. They have lost half their men. You, right over here. Behold how our Continue. Great. Runs. Now, it's stop shooting. Stop shooting. And then we'll have the cavalry chase everyone down. Great. That worked out just nice. Just fine. King Freka. And how many captors, captives can we take? You aim for them instead. See if we can try to get you to ride a bit faster. 
at least um, we should be managed to take... Yeah, oh yeah, we've absolutely taken enough prisoners to get them to, um, to completely wipe out their army. That's good. That's good. And then, finish these guys up. Let's see, 12% lost. This is a clear victory! We healed two, even though we didn't have a general. So now, thinking that we killed the faction leader, we should be getting a man of the hour, but I don't think it was uh, balanced enough. MVP, uh, 57, really, is that the highest? 56 on uh, Gatekeepers, 57 on Dunedain Steel Bowman. Yeah, our archers did a great job. The Greenway Spearmen got slaughtered in the center. Ah, oh, damn. That's too bad. And that artwork is the front cover to the Swedish version of the um, two towers. At least the one I have at home. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. I remember thinking that the protection for the ice made that Felbeast look like a fly. Execute. Dunland's leader is dead. Yep. Enemy camp sack. Yep. Man of the hour. Hot damn. Yes, please. An honorable, glorious Great victory. work, my man. Great yes, work. Lord. Now, thinking. Could I lay siege to this one without them sallying out? Let's try. As you command, we shall prevail. Something like this. And I will be trying to siege them for as long as possible. Although I do believe that that army will come here. Ew. You can't move any further. But when you do, I do want you to start moving south. Or actually just kill that one. Okay. I do want to retrain something here, don't I? Yes, I do. Actually. Can I move you into Londaire instead? I can. Can I retrain you in Londaire? Yes, I can, eventually. Cool. And there are so many units I need to get here. So many good buildings as well. Hmm. Hamf, 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 hamf. Maybe not prioritize that for now. Prioritize those two buildings instead for Monet. Right. Our profits are still dwindling. We have such high army upkeep right now. Yes, my lord. And you will keep marching towards Haras. To battle. Making camp here. Can't afford any mercenaries. Uh, but I think Haras would be easy enough to take. I'm thinking of Lond Angren. Okay, I'm just uh, rebuild or um, repairing some stuff first. My lord. Okay, Gondor has something at least. That's Without good. Question. Is this a... Yes. yes. As That's good. Wish. So, I'm thinking, if I should give them Lond Angren, because they don't have any culture and they can't get over there anyway. Oh, uh, so let's just keep it for now, and maybe... I do want to take uh, Dunland out before I declare war on Isengard, Orders. to be honest. Yes. You move into Dunlanark. Do I need to retrain you? Don't really know what for, though. Eight keepers? I don't know. I don't know. Can't afford it anyway. Okay, okay, okay. Things are moving. By your command. And your you... Service. Let's see, you make 1.3k there. 2.4 there. At your service. 871 there. And I think 1.6. At your service. Okay, let's move Journey you over to that one. At your Put you service. there. Opening a new trade lane, my Yes, friend. and I will be making so much more money from these two. At your service. One thousand. That's not that's not good enough. Can't even see there. Okay. We made some more profits, but we've spent all of it. Queues are stalled. Construction report. Bartoleg, you got the Dunedain armor. And now we're working on increasing the culture there. That's good, we can retrain some stuff, most likely just an armor upgrade, but still. And Karndoom, you are going to get a lot better uh, culture as well. So we can start training some... Oh, we actually already can start training some troops. I'm thinking something to hold the peace there. And um, then move the general out on the battlefield, because I'd rather need him there. So let's just start queuing you up and, and see if you can hold the peace. We have 50% uh, governor's influence, 
and the cultural unrest will decrease. So I'm thinking it should be good enough without Aldaron as long as we have a garrison. That's my hypothesis. And recruitment, Bree. Orders, my lord. Yeah, we actually really do need to start moving this army um, out to the battlefield now. But we can't really afford it. That's the problem. Orders, as you wish. We have a massive, I think, massive army here that we need in the south. But our profits are already so freaking slim. So first we need to lose a whole bunch of troops. And then we will be able to march out with this one. A better one. Okay, so what can we do now? Byrig, nothing really going on there. Still sieging. Dunladak, where is your laying siege to Heorot? Your orders, and we lord. won't be able to uh, reinforce you. You're already full. So, at Dunladak, we're still kind of massing up. Let's call it that. Orders. We can start to retrain some stuff here. Okay. And we are just building so many things. Yes, my lord. And already can't move anything. And our profits will decrease even more until the next one. Let's just... Okay. Think about where I have my diplomats. You are already standing close to this little Rohan thing. That's good. Should I give them something just to make sure that they're alive until I can start giving them better regions, I'm thinking. If I give them, like, Suduri or something like that for now. Not really. Should I give them Lond Angren, maybe? What culture do Rohan, uh, does Rohan have? Edoras. I should be able to see this here. You have Norsemen, not middlemen. Oh, damn. So we won't be, you won't be getting garrisons either. But look at the units. Black Uruk, Black Uruk Halberds, Temple Wards. Just out of nowhere. Southern Lancers, Temple Knights. Ah, damn. I will not have a good time trying to My fight... Lord. Mordor. That's for damn sure. Your orders, my lord. Okay, we can't really train anything more here, but you'll just have to be happy enough, I guess. And um, orders, nothing here that I can start moving lord. down. Okay, let's just end the turn. Feels like I'm being, I'm stalling enough. Would be nice just. Um, Auto resolve a whole shit ton of uh, sieges, at least like two of the ones in Angmar. Oh no, should I have attacked Agendaur? Eorod, you are getting reinforced like crazy. So if you pull you back. We are disgraced. Okay, then you're Fall not under attack anymore. So then we can move out, kill that general. Back from the walls. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, you. My lord. Okay, this will not give me Agendaur. My lord. They're just whole sh Oh, there we have Agendaur. Your orders, my lord. Would be nice. Would be fun to give it a shot, actually. Yes, my lord. End of turn report. And retinue expansions. Uh, construction reports. Londangren have been repaired. Dunladak. I mean, we're still broke, so we can't really do anything. Buzra Doom. Okay, okay. Start with the market. Just some sheep buildings to give us more money. Gonna go third. You can be upgraded. Gonna cost a lot though. And Mikkel Delving has been upgraded as well. Fairground should be sheep enough. And we could be getting so many good troops, but we don't have the money for it. We have retrained a whole bunch of stuff. That's the only thing we've done. Be trained. Okay, so that army seems to have moved. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, orders, my lord. okay, I there we have Conan, a general that I would very much like to kill. And you yes, my lord. have Ballista, so you, you could attack Karas. What would it look like now? Not quite uh, good enough your in our favor, so let's just lay siege to it for 
um, a turn or so. Maintain the siege. Yes. And you can start moving out to lay sure to make sure that we're not being ambushed. And you yes, did not get attacked again this turn. But they have so many troops. What if we put you into this fort? That would be fun. Let's just try that. Put we you into a fort. Triumph. Then some of your free upkeep a as well, so that's good. Conquest. That's good. Good. Hiding from the enemy. Your order, and you are order. still laying siege to buy it again. With every turn, we are killing more of their units. So that's great for us. Now, should I send some units out to capture some Dunland forts? Would not like to take necessarily strong troops, to be honest. Like you, for example. I could just move you around to start taking uh, Dunland forts. That's good. That's good. Now, we should start making more money. Uh, merchant trade, only 1.1. Hmm, how long does it take for you to That's set up a sense. trade route? I can't do that, sire. As you command. Still not that much from merchant trade, but like I said, At maybe maybe we'll get it later. Your will, you Lord. move into Longbottom, where we can retrain you. Not financially, but theoretically we can retrain you. And can't retrain anything here. There's so many units that I would love to train. Okay. Yes. My Let's Lord. just give it a shot. Killing Agandaur. That would be fun if we're able to do that, actually. As you I will give everything to just smash Agandaur. If we kill him, we march into battle. then that's good. And we kind of have to kill him, because otherwise uh, their army won't break. So there's that. So that we will just throw our uh, cavalry at him, basically. We'll get better weather. Yes, we can. Okay. Somewhere on a hill, preferably. Okay, we can actually just move back and then we'll have a hill all set out for us. Okay. All my units that have a skirmish function. Remove that. Oh, we have a lot of archers, actually. There we go, just like that. And then I want the journeyman somewhere in the front lines. Speaking of front lines, all of you can form shield walls. Oh, this is not gonna be nearly good enough. So we'll just have to make these kinds of... These kind of Arnor boxes, I guess. And we'll see how all of that works out for us. Do there, and then we'll have the journeyman right here. Oh, this is not going to be too good, unfortunately. Can we somehow... Can we somehow get them into a better formation? Like this, maybe? That actually rather takes more space, it seems. Okay, let's just try it like this for now. Uh, like I said, it's the cavalry that's gonna have to do a whole shit ton of heavy lifting. What do we have here? Oh! You. Fill up there. You. Fill up there. Then we have our He-Man cavalry. All of you will just have to take an absolute beating during this battle, unfortunately. Spearman and you spread out a little bit more. Fortunately, we have a general in this battle. Okay, there we go. So, all of you lads are in one group and you are in guard mode. Okay, here we go. And they are moving towards us. That's great. Have an arrow ready. Now, where would be a better place to put you lads where you can actually deal some fire? Let's squish you up just a smidge. Move you out a little bit on this side. 
and then we'll have the journeyman in the center. Okay, so, Agendower, where are you? Right there, aren't you? Sneaky bugger. So, cavalry, let's try to ride you out. Looks like they have... Let's slow everything down just a smidge. A uh, whole bunch of hillmen and Agendau, oh, Agendau, Angmar infantry thralls, hillmen, hillmen, um, Rudal pikemen, uh, witch knights. Okay, so another general. And then hillmen, thralls, uh, thralls, hillmen, hillmen, and of course, overlord Agendaur. Let's see what happens. If we charge the hillmen right on, hit them head on. Doesn't didn't look like they had basically any um, archers, so we should be able to deal a shit ton of damage to these guys. Okay, that was an absolutely atrocious charge. Go back, please. Wouldn't surprise me at all if we lost more on that one than they did. Okay. Get into formation. And attack the ballista, please. Okay, something is attacking something over here. Okay, everyone's just absolutely shooting the war graders to shit. I'm not... I'm actually fine with that. And we should be killing their ballista units right now as well. Continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Yeah, don't count your eggs, count your chickens already. Okay, that's good. We get a charge off on them now. Where did Agenda? That's the temple wards, right? And they won't break. While Agendaur is still alive. So, get over here. Slow everything down a smidge. Thralls. Okay, now we need to slow everything down. And we don't need to get into a good position to kill Agendaur. Maybe just start uh, charging their units in the back until uh, we're ready to start killing Agendau. That's good. Pull back. Pull back. And I don't want the journeyman the in that position. Bloody. Now, they have lost pause. Off their men. All of our archers focus on the temple wards. So far we've killed 58%, lost 4%, and I'm thinking that if we just manage to keep riding around, um, distracting Agendaur, should be able to have our archers just absolutely annihilate him, hopefully. You ride in and attack the hillmen. The thing is, the temple wards have this insane armor. We are starting to... Um, Wear them down just a smidge though. Now pull back. You attack those hillmen. Do we have anything over here? Yes, we actually do. Don't want to attack the thralls unless I absolutely have to. So you keep riding around. You actually need to run, please. Oh, look at how many arrows our archers are absolutely pummeling them with. We are starting to wear them down, but they are so strong. So it's gonna take a while. But so far, it looks like this battle has actually worked out quite well for us. Witch Knights. Let's see if we can attack them in the back. I think that should uh, be a good hit. A fine hit. Blow the horn. You ride around. Actually, what would a frontal charge look like here? Spears down. Oh, yeah. I mean, Hillman. Why would you hit hit cavalry head on? I don't understand it. Now you need to pull back. Over there. 
And the temple wards are down to 45. The arrows keep just absolutely raining down upon them. Don't want you to attack the thralls. Let's see if you can attack them. You can attack them. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This cavalry unit should attack these hillmen, please. You run back. And now the witch knight, the temple ward, sorry. Okay. Now I want for all you and you and you should not shoot anymore. Everyone else is basically out of ammunition anyway. There we go, pull back, and now with the temple wards fighting them. What the hell, where are my troops? Okay, they're all spread out all over the place. My cavalry is being killed by thralls. Not excited about that. Can we get a charge off on these bad boys? If so, we would be able to... Agandar is not even here, is he? Nope. No, Afanuzir. Okay, that's another one. Okay, pull back. That was not the best charge ever. Agandaur is somewhere. He's right there, actually. So, where are you? Let's see if you can attack the temple wards. Thralls. I think you should just ride through them, to be honest. Even more thralls. Okay, so you can shoot at thralls then, I guess. You stop shooting, please. Now you charge in on Agandaur. And you can't do that as well. Okay, and that's Agandaur dead. That's a Lieutenant of Mordor. Okay, really good. So now everyone should just break, hopefully. There we go. Now make sure that we capture everyone. Archers, stop shooting, please. Don't want you to hit our own troops. We lost 11%. I mean, I can live with that. Losing 11% and killing Agandaur? Heck yeah. Really fortunate that his army was insanely weak. I mean, only Hillmen and Thralls. Come on. I mean, Agandaur is strong, but he's not that strong. They should have all kinds of Iron Crown units by now. There we go. And them as well. 11. Did we heal anything? We healed 2%. And we lost 230. Uh, most of that Greenway Spearmen, Greenway Riders, we lost quite a few of those bad boys. 56 Watchmen Axe Guard, but the units actually held the line quite well. MVPs, 277 on the Greenway Riders. Yep, that's good. Really, really good job, lads. A lot of and with that, I actually think it's time to wrap up this episode. I've been going on for a little more than an hour. And we haven't been able to take that much. Uh, we haven't been able to take that much territory, I'm afraid. But we can take that fort. Victory. Right. And then knock our rack law. Should be another turn or so. And I don't believe I need to be scared of anything coming this way now. I don't think. Because it's Gundabad over here and we are cool for now. So you start moving down south. And I want you to go over here because I think they still have that region. So. Uh, we have been mobilizing our troops. We do have a lot of lads ready to rock and roll. And you are free upkeep there. Um... Yes, ready to go. But we still just we just need to lose more units at the front lines first. So we will start moving um, troops over there. Let's see, you for example could go into the fort. There we go, saving money that way. And we are making not a lot more in trade right uh, or merchants right now. But we will, thanks to those amazing tips. I mean, come on, going from 50 and 80 to... Thousands? I didn't even know that was possible. 
But At yeah. Your service. Very happy that it was. At your service. Double left click. Can I see if you're actually making me any money right now? Nope. But I think uh, he will eventually. And in the next episode, I'm planning on just keep uh, keeping attacking. Uh, yes, my lord. Uh, keep attacking we shall engage. Uh, Dunland, yes. to be honest, and try to start giving some regions back. I mean, Karas, that might actually be far enough south to start giving it back to Gondor, but I'm still in the... Isengard is still in the way. Fortunately, they have Kalembel, so, but look at this. So much territory is in Mordor or Isengard hands. I mean, it's Isengard here, Mordor up here. What the hell happened there? I don't know, but my plan is to eventually go to war with Isengard, um, give as much as possible to Rohan, and uh, give as much po as possible back to Gondor as well. And I'll see how far I'll go, but it would be nice if I can give Edoras back to Rohan and uh, Minas Tirith back to Gondor. But that, in that case, this uh, series would go on forever. So in the next episode, I'm guessing that we will try to take Byrig and we will take Karas. And uh, I think Olkford uh, as well. My lord. That would be fun. And I think we'll start by killing Kernan. Hopefully that yes, shouldn't be lord. too hard. Your you can move into Barad Vin and retrain what we can. So, hope you enjoyed this episode. Any tips or tricks or any requests on what uh, faction I should play next? I think uh, next should be an orc-based evil faction. So we have uh, Gundabad, uh, Dol Guldur, Mordor obviously, we have uh, Goblins of Moria, and Isengard if you count them as an orc based uh, faction. So any recommendations on that front, please write them down in the comments below. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Oh!